Hey there guys, James Smith, aka The Tattoo Butcher, and today we're gonna to be covering beef jerky on the Meat Workshop series. So the cut that we're using is a beef eye round. You have options of using a top side or a silver side. You really want a lean meat when you're making beef jerky. This one here is from the team at Silver Fern Farms and is New Zealand grass fed and pasture raised. So let's get stuck in and start trimming. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just using my sharp bony knife and I'm just trimming that heavy fat just off the top of our eye round. We like to use the eye round because it's a really nice tender cut and it's also very lean when we get this fat off. So it's perfect for beef jerky. You can also use all this fat. You can mince it, you can add it into burgers so we're not wasting anything. So now that our eye round's all trimmed out, we need to slice it. So as far as thickness goes for slicing your eye round, you want to go a little bit thicker than a piece of schnitzel. So a nice sharp knife, just going to face that first piece off and then we're just going to slice it nice and thin. Cool guys, so for ingredients all we're going to need is half a cup of soy sauce, three tablespoons of Worcester sauce, three tablespoons of liquid honey, one tablespoon of sriracha sauce, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of cracked pepper, mix it all together in a bag and let it soak overnight for 24 hours. So once we've soaked our jerky for 24 hours it should be full of flavour and it's ready to go into the barbecue. So cook time for these we're looking at cooking them for two hours at 200 degrees Fahrenheit over indirect heat. Okay so we just want to make sure that they're really cooked, they've gone nice and dry and then they're ready to eat. So once we've cooked it for two hours at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, there's also the option of adding wood chips if you guys want. It does add a nice smoky flavour, but you only really want to smoke it for half an hour, otherwise that smoke flavour kind of overpowers the meat. So we're going to let these ones cook and we're going to come back when they're ready to eat. So once our jerky's done, we basically just want to let it sit, let it cool down, and then it's ready to slice and ready to eat. All right guys, so that's a wrap on our beef jerky recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoy eating it. If you guys want to check out more recipes like this, head over to recipes.co.nz. But apart from that guys, that's me. I'm ready to start eating my beef jerky.